So in this segment, we're going to be talking about the information blackout uh, regarding sewage um, discharges in England. So this is, we've spoken about the state of English kind of waterways uh, in the past, and it is really, really bad. Um, you've got animals and other wildlife um, just dying in the rivers. Um, what are they called? So some of the media outlets have done really good work. Their name slips my mind. I, uh, Byline Times, that's the one. They do really good work in this regard. Um, and they've covered it really well. But um, yeah, there are information blackouts around this. And it's horrible. So a campaign group is challenging what it says is an information blackout imposed by the Environmental Agency on its investigation into illegal sewage dumping into England. Now, the Environmental Agency are saying that they have to do an information blackout as it's currently under investigation. But the issue is that these um, kind of campaign groups are saying is like, how are we supposed to challenge and kind of advise people about these waterways without having the information at hand? The inquiry began after water companies admitted to the agency they may have been illegally discharging raw sewage from treatment works into rivers and streams. The, the investigation involves more than 2,000 treatment works. Nearly a third of the, England, of the total in England is likely to involve most, of, most, if not all, water companies. So you can see a massive amount of water treatment companies in England are being accused of dumping uh, raw sewage into the waterways which is incredibly dangerous and this comes back on the back of these kind of companies struggling to get in chemicals in order to clear out you know the the waste they're dumping in the waters and the simple fact is this is going to get worse now with UK doing import checks this was mainly last year caused by supply chain issues now it's going to be even worse the agency has refused any details on the grounds that there would be adverse harm to its investigation despite strong public interest in the case. And the thing is, they can give us some bits of information about like maybe how bad you know initial looks are at the situation, but no, this could be to protect the government. It's very unclear as to why they're doing this, or is this common practice because it is an investigation. However, it's not under criminal investigation right now. Penny Gain, the head of legal practice at Fish Legal, um, said it was trying to ensure a veil of secrecy was not kept over the operation and the impact of storm flow overflows by water companies because these investigations can take years. Historically, EA investigations have taken years. Southern Waters was fined £90 million for dumping billions of litres of raw sewage into protected seas after a seven-year investigation by the agency. So this stuff really kicked off around, what, 20, uh, 2014 maybe? And that's how long it takes to kind of investigate these stories. Um, Gain said the concern is not is that nothing is going to be shared for for years now, and people who be have been looking to the harms caused by um, sewage discharges will be unable to continue their work because they'll have to do it independently. That's what the people checking out the rivers and the oceans um, had to do. They had to get it independently, independently um, assessed by different groups to look at the damage. Otherwise, we wouldn't really know about how bad the bacteria levels are in the water. You know, the agency is using a blanket ban, a uh, blanket um, application of the course of justice exemptions and then the environmental information regulations, which will continue for years, Gaines said. So essentially, they're just going to black out information for years until their investigations are done. But their investigations into one company um, took seven years. How long is it going to take them to investigate almost all of them? Like this, this is bizarre and insane. Um, to be honest, they've already admitted to wrongdoing. Surely you could reveal how bad the situation is now, what your initial findings have found. Fish Legal is challenging the refusal to release information and has been requested um, the agency review their decision. MPs on the Environmental Audit Committee said in a report on Thursday they were alarmed at the extent of sewage discharges, large spills and misreporting by water companies. Surely this is a criminal investigation then. Surely the feds are involved because people are lying here. Um, according to this article anyways. They also cited evidence from Professor Peter Hammond who revealed that the scale of illegal sewage dumping from treatment plants could be far greater than the amount reported to the agency by water companies because water companies need a certain amount of permission before they can dump the water, the sewage even. And so it looks like they, according to this article at least, have been lying to the environmental agency. What is the environmental agency going to do about this? Because it can take several years for um, investigations to conclude. Hammond's information came from requests under the environmental information regulations to the environmental agency and water firms. It is just this kind of information which we fear will not be released, Gaines said. The environmental agency declined to comment and they're going to hide behind this kind of 
investigation things very Boris Johnson-esque I guess there's not much they can reveal um, because it is under investigation um, however you know it just shows you how bad the situation is in the UK that you know m so many of these companies are under investigation and the simple fact is we don't know a lot about it this has barely been reported this is only in the Guardian from what I've seen maybe the independent maybe the observer at best nowhere else I mean these so-called patriots are dumping raw sewage into the waterways how patriotic is that Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.